We turned a promise broken into a promise kept. It matters to workers. It matters to their families. It matters to the country. You all remember what the economy was like when I was elected a country in a pandemic with no real plans how to get out of it, millions of people out of their jobs, families in cars, remember, backed up for literally miles, waiting for a box of food to be put in their trunk, just a box of food to be put in their trunk because they didn't have enough to eat. Meanwhile, everything has went up. Rent, mortgages, you, you can barely afford to feed yourself these days. You have to work more than one job. I, I have three jobs. I work for People Ready, oh DoorDash, goodness. and Instacart. So, you know, um, and I'm still struggling wow. to feed myself. That's really not okay. And I think Biden needs to do better. Um, he didn't come to any of his promises. Like, he didn't meet them at all. Yes. And I feel tricked. So Marissa, next time going yes. forward, I'm going to probably vote based on policy, not on boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It is not looking good for Joe Biden and the Democrats as Biden voters are having major voters remorse. They feel hoodwink, led astray, run amok, right? They feeling all types of emotions about the fact that they essentially voted to pour this country down the drain right they voted for the destruction of this country when they went and voted for joe biden because orange man has mean tweets because they fell for the okie doke from the mainstream liberal media i'm telling you there's a lot of democrats that have taken the red pill uh doing joe biden's presidency right and the crazy part about this guys is that there's no discrimination when it comes to the democrat voters who are rejecting Joe Biden, regardless of your race, your skin color, your sex, <laughs> what's between your legs, doesn't matter, right? Uh, they're all rejecting Joe Biden, okay? Let's actually start off with single mothers or mothers <laughs> that are rejecting Joe Biden. Uh, well, uh, I'm a lifelong Democrat. I voted for Biden. I believed him when he said that kids kids would be back to normal and school would be fully reopened within the first hundred days. And here we are a year and a half into his presidency. And in blue areas like where I live in New York City, kids are far from normal. Um, there's no attempt to even try to restore normalcy for these kids. You know, Biden was the Biden was the first person I ever actually voted for. Um, the media portrayed Biden as someone who was going to fix this country. And honestly, from my perspective, my personal experience, he's made it a whole lot worse for people like me who voted for him. So I feel not only embarrassed, but um, I just feel very manipulated by the media, like social media, portraying him as someone who is going to fix the country. We were told by the DNC, by everybody else, he's going to be fine. He's going to push a progressive agenda. He's going to check all of the boxes that all of you are thinking about. And he's going to be one of the most progressive um, leaders in history. And um, none of that has come true, obviously. He has gone back on so many campaign promises. And as a lifelong Democrat, I do not regret voting for him. I just think that he he's not going to be able to run again. There's just no way. Yeah, so Democrat single moms seem to be pissed off at Joe Biden. Uh, they don't seem to be uh, very happy with the results <laughs> thus far. Let's check in on the LGBTQ community and see how they are responding to Joe Biden's presidency. How are we feeling about Joe Biden as president? He can f off. Not feeling it. No? No. He's an absolute f idiot. Okay. So, Donald Trump for president. For I'm not a fan of Super Joe. I don't like how he's built inflation. Like, uh -huh. I'm not into it. The whole country is <laughs> suffering from it, but I mean. You, you like Trump or Biden? Trump. I liked it when we had a good economy and I felt safe. The borders were being under control. Okay, yeah, so it seems like. The LGBTQ community is not really feeling Biden that much, but surely black people must still be feeling Biden, considering how that is the bread and butter and the most reliable vote of the Democrat Party. Polls show that support for this administration among black Americans has softened. How will you turn that around? Well, first of all, black Americans, Americans in general, should be demanding, and rightly, 
that we pass legislation that addresses these issues that you have mentioned. I was an author of the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. I believe very strongly that we should have accountability in all systems, including in policing. But they're frustrated police reform is stalled. I believe that we need, to, you're right. I mean, but again, the, this is the, the, there is a cycle, there is a connection between what we are, what we want to have happen and the power of Congress to actually make it happen when it comes to changing the laws. Black Americans and all Americans said, look at the United States Supreme Court. There has never in the history of that court been a black woman to serve. There now is. Because people stood in line in 2020 for hours, demanding that of the things that they would stand in line to see happen, there would be a Katanji Brown Jackson on the United States, Justice, excuse me, Katanji Brown Jackson on the United States Supreme Court. They said, I want to see more support for some of our finest educational institutions that are called HBCUs. Here right now, what would you tell them? Tell them to get out of office, man. He's shit up. He's old. He's falling off of bikes and shit. It's over, man. Give it up. <laughs> I tell them. Let Trump back in office. He did better for the, for the black culture. Trump 2024. Uh, 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 Joe Biden. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. Donald Trump. You better vote for Donald Trump. That mother about money. Biden didn't give him nothing. Who do you think is a better president, Biden or Trump? Trump. All the way. Trump? Yeah. Why you say that? Because he's a good businessman. Yeah? Yeah. What else do you like about him? That's it. He just good with business. Trump all the way? Yeah, Trump all the way. <laughs> Trump all the way, you heard it. I need Trump back. Anybody else out there need Trump back? What's going on? We wasn't going through this shit for the last four years. We were winning. Winning, winning, winning. And now y'all sitting home being quiet and shit now. Somebody say something. Tell me why the f you yep. support Joe Biden right yep. now. Everybody had a lot to say when Trump was in the, was in the White House. Anybody got shit to say with this old ass bum in there? about the country let me get this straight donald trump gives 250 million dollars to fund hbcus joe biden takes it away spends it on pipes for junkies but donald trump was the issue joe biden we gotta talk brother we we gotta talk a lot of talk because you was talking a lot of talk in your campaign and you was telling people especially black students to vote for you because you were going to give us 45 billion dollars allocated to our schooling and once you got that position of power you started showing your behind mm. you started embarrassing yourself so now you are saying uh okay now that i secured my seat of power i'm going to take advantage of it yeah so that sounds like buyer's remorse to me okay it doesn't sound like promises made promises kept sounds like promises made promises broken however there are some people right that are still in denial over the fact that the biden administration is doing so terribly so no let's have a talk so let's have a talk so why am i paying five dollars a gallon for gas there's inflation in china there's inflation because of biden because of biden yeah yep it, was a it world is pandemic. so you're gonna take our it's guns so you're gonna take our guns it's a world pandemic yep yeah yeah you're, you're yelling at me like it's a little girl anybody. yeah yell at me like a little girl yeah. no facts i don't mean yeah the facts yeah facts can you. Hey, I get Trump's it. A great criminal. He is. Trump's I love Trump. Trump. Hey, at least Trump. At, at least. Trump. Hey, you won't let me talk. At least Trump don't want trans kids. You love trans kids. You love trans kids. Oh, but Beto's a communist George Soros puppet. George Soros communist puppet. Yeah, yeah. Go back to yep. criminal Trump. So what about George Soros? So he bail reform. Oh uh, yeah, he actually Donald funds. Trump's he kid. actually funds him. Donald Trump hired his he funds kids, him. and then he double. Oh, that's what he, he did. Him really? No. And then but what about Hunter Biden? Biden? What about Hunter? George Soros. Hunter Biden? George Soros. Hunter not, he smoking crack. He doesn't smoking crack. Oh, he's, but he's the he president's son. Oh, but does he Look how worked up he is. He's a little girl. You're not. He's crying. I'm laughing. Look at you crying. Woo! Yeah, you're screaming like a girl. Look at you. I don't mean to confuse him with the facts. I know he just hit puberty. Hunter Biden does not work for the administration. Oh, he's the president's son. He's the president's son. We get it. Get your facts right. Oh, I have facts. I have facts. Cause guess what? Facts don't. Facts don't care about your feelings. Keep screaming. Uh, an unfair impeachment that was uh, illegal. <laughs> yeah. Some people again are still in denial. Okay, that guy was a walking MSNBC talking point. Okay, nothing is Joe Biden's fault. It's everybody else's fault. Uh, Hunter Biden doesn't matter because he is the 
son of the president. He's not actually in office. But hey, you know, Clarence Thomas should be impeached, right? And Jenny Thomas should be perp walk and arrested, okay? According to the left. But ignore Hunter Biden, though, right? Ignore Hunter Biden. However, the facts, right? The, the facts are speaking for themselves. As uh, the American people are not dumb, uh, despite what the Democrat Party thinks, because they actually do really think the American people are dumb. As Biden is at a 33% approval rating in a New York Times poll, which I believe is his low, lowest approval rating at this point. This guy is almost ending 20%. And it's really funny because I feel like I see this headline every single week that Biden's approval rating has hit a new low, but it never, ever, ever hits in the 20%. I mean, I, I believe personally that Biden's true approval rate, the approval rating that he would have if the media went out to him the same way he went out to Trump, or at the very least, if they were neutral on Biden, uh, he would be in probably the low 20%, maybe even the low 10%, okay? I'm just saying, it would be that low, okay? So he's still getting the mainstream media boost. Uh, add on top of that, it, it gets even worse for Biden, as nearly two-thirds of Democrat voters want a plan B in 2024, it's impossible to see how the president reverses his slide if he isn't willing to fire anyone in his inner circle. Yeah, so two-thirds of Democrat voters want a new candidate. They do not want Joe Biden. And the only person's approval rating that is either lower or comparable to Joe Biden's right now is Kamala Harris, whom is the natural alternative to Joe Biden, which means that they don't have an alternative, right? This is absolutely terrible news for the Biden administration and Democrat Party. They, they truly do not have anybody to run in 2024. And Democrat voters, again, are having major buyer's remorse uh, voting for Joe Biden. OK, now, uh, some of the polls still seem to indicate that Biden would beat Trump in a rematch. However, I, I'm not necessarily sure if I believe those polls because, one, I don't think that people are necessarily going to tell pollsters that uh, they would vote for Trump because there's such a stigma against people who come out and say they will vote for Trump or that support Trump. So I wouldn't necessarily buy too much into the polls about, uh, you know, Trump versus Biden right now in regards to head-to-head -head matchup. There are some polls that are showing that Trump would beat Biden in the head-to-head -head matchup. I think if the election was held today, I think whether it's Trump or Ron DeSantis, okay, that's the GOP nominee, both of them would, I think, handily beat Joe Biden. There's no way, no way that Americans would fall for the okie doke once again from the Biden administration, okay? They, they, they can't campaign on America being racist because of Trump or mean tweets or the pandemic or any of that stuff that they campaigned on when Trump was in office that fooled a lot of people, okay? A lot of people are not falling for the okie doke anymore because at the end of the day, uh, what really matters to the American people are, are their wallets, right? And a lot of people feel like the Democrats have stolen their money with inflation and they want their money back. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.